Today we're going to answer some frequently asked questions. Jupiter asked, you know, would it work with mods? Here's how you set it up. So the quick answer is you do need to be able to put stuff in your content folder on Nucleus Co-op and you might not be able to do that unless you've launched it at least once. So here we're going to try to set up for two people. While we are setting this up, we're also going to answer the frequently asked question. Can we play split screen multiplayer on the same screen? This is how we're going to set it up. We're going to click on peak in Nucleus Co-op and we're going to hit the split screen toggle and we're going to split it to top down in the middle of my monitor and we're going to make a mouse and keyboard on player one at the top and the controller at the bottom. We're going to hit play. So we have to wait for the game to truly load and be borderless full screen in, in a sense, but taking up the top half of our screen. And once the game is borderless full screen on the top, the second game will try to launch as well. And it will be in a pseudo full screen state, but you have got to be even more patient. So once both of these games are in full screen mode, you can feel free to go into the invite kiosk and invite it just like our previous video showed. So once we have everything launched, we would go onto the peak game and right click it and then go to the content folder. Alright, back to setting up mods. So when we have instance 1, 0, and 1 folders existing, that means we can add our mod files in. We're going to do a quick detour and set up how we get R2 Modman, which is our mod launcher of choice. To grab R2 Modman, make sure you go to the GitHub page at github.com slash ebkr slash r2 modman plus and you will see there's a release section on the right side and we're going to click on that and we're going to look for the windows version in this case so i'm going to click on the setup and save it once you fully install r2 modman we're going to go set it up you want to look for peak and make sure to favorite it so it's always at the top and then we're going to select the game. And we're going to select the profile after we select that peak. You can also create a new one for a preset of the mods you want. And then once you have that selected, click select profile. In this case, you can go to online to see all of the published Thunderstore mods, but I have some installed already. In this case, I have Peak Unlimited and some other ones. We're gonna try to open our browser profile folder in R2 Modman to see where they install the mod files. And we're going to actually copy those files into our Peak content folder created by Nucleus Co-op. Since we're playing two player, we're going to put it in both instance zero and instance one. I just use skip these files and that doesn't seem to give any issues. So I just did that for every folder. And finally, we're gonna go open Nucleus Co-op again. We're going to launch the top and bottom split screen set up the same way. We will hit play. And then we just got to wait for every client to open in full screen borderless. So we have the first window open and it needs to be full screen but it's not yet. In the meantime, feel free to subscribe if you like this content, if you appreciate it, and if you have any other questions, feel free to ask uh, in the comments down below.
So now Nucleus Co op launched a second game, and we just have to wait until that truly full screens. So at the start, it the second player might seem like it's truly full screen, but it isn't. It's gonna still keep trying to re resize, and so we had to give it a bit. And now it's fully done. Now we're going to be in first player. We're gonna select host game, and just like that, we're gonna load in. You see at the top left that you have peak unlimited loaded and the maximum players is increased. We also have the ping mod activated. When I'm middle mouse clicking, it's pointing somewhere and creating a wide bubble. And then we're gonna invite our player for player two and player two is gonna try to load in. And if we just give it a second, when player one pings with the middle mouse click, it should start pinging where the mouse is it's a little buggy because um, there's some mouse detachment issue and you have to lock player two so that it doesn't detect the keyboard and so but yeah a bonus issue that you may come across is that some of these mods really don't work um, an example is the peak lobby mod which lets you find other players um, those don't seem to be able to connect to other people because you are on a local co-op session and another issue is if you're playing something like uh, peak stranding where you have to download something online to your local computer to find okay this map has these items that other people have placed already those don't seem to work because again the connection doesn't seem to work so anything that works more already pre-downloaded part of the mod those would be your best bet on mods that are compatible with nucleus co-op all right thank you guys so much for watching and enjoy and have fun